I'm here at the 2011 MIT Sloan Sports Analytics Conference, a celebration of all things geek and all things data and how it relates to sports. The only problem is that it's just one day. Sports and statistics are part of our everyday lives. We need something that's much more long-lasting. So that's why I'm here today, to pitch the inaugural Sports Statistics Hall of Fame. I know you're a man of big ideas. I have the biggest idea for you here. You have Yao Ming healthy? What do you think of my idea? I've got it right here, this nice plaque with all these stats. Who should be in the Statistics Hall of Fame? These numbers don't mean anything. But they're in a plaque. Okay. When they're in a plaque, it makes them that much better. Really? Yes. Can I break the plaque? If the numbers had, would still be if there. If the numbers were on the plaque with like Eva Longoria, then they'd be great. But then, no, she's still not there. <laughs> I was actually scouting the MIT basketball team. That's where the real talent is. Talking about talent. You guys talent. are way too serious about Talking this. about <laughs> talent. If we were to nominate someone for the Sports Analytics Hall of Fame, uh -huh. could you give us a name or two? You want to know who I want in the, st in the Statistics Hall of Fame? So, Bill, the uh, Stats Hall of Fame, Analytics Hall of Fame. I don't even understand this. Yeah, it's, it's an Excel spreadsheet. Who would you recommend to be in the Statistics Hall of Fame? This guy was a, and is a genius. He's stupid smart, just like your, all you guys at MIT. I would recommend Bill James. The most notable is Bill James. Bill James. I think it should be the founder of analytics, which is really Bill James. First thing you know is you need to get a, come up with a funky building. You know, where you, where oh, you're we've had some it. ideas. Uh, Bill James's house in Wichita. <laughs> Here's a statistic that I think should be in the Hall of Fame. In the 500 meters in short track speed skating, the lane positions go from one, two, three, four, five. If you have one or two, you have a 75 or greater percent chance of winning the race than the person in, in lane four or five. Who would you recommend to be in this elite class of individuals? Well, the, whoever invented uh, the, the run-pass ratio as it relates to balance, because it's been flawed and incorrect for years. I think that guy deserves a lot of credit, uh, even though um, they've impacted the sport to the negative. Uh, they've still impacted it in a dramatic and long, far-reaching fashion. A nominee. My stats prof at Indiana University is someone who got us started with advanced plus minus. His name is John Shepard. He could stat out everything during a game. Tony Reale started, started his TV career on PTI as stat boy. I would nominate Nate Silver because I think he is one of the probably smartest sports statistic guys I know. We have got some great nominees to the Sports Statistics Hall of Fame, but now we just need to build it. We're also looking to do some fundraising. Are you willing to pony up for this endeavor? Uh, well, statistically speaking, probably not. You're barking up the wrong tree here, Tyler. Sorry about that. If you have any suggestions, nominees for the Sports Statistics Hall of Fame, attach them to this video. I gotta go do a little bit more networking. Hey, hey, Sports Statistics Hall of Fame. This is what came to mind when you asked me, and that's my story, and I'm sticking with it.